Well, I dragged it out as long as I could for you guys, but the time has finally come where I'm no longer going to say on my websites what herbs are good for what health conditions. The FDA is really cracking down on stuff like that, and let me explain why, because it's really not a bad thing. Even though for thousands of years, tribal cultures have known and they've used these herbs and they're very effective and they do wonders and there's been scientific testing, there's been thousands or even millions of scientific tests and clinical studies showing what these herbs do, even though that's there, the reason the FDA doesn't want people selling herbal products to say this herb is good for that condition is because you cannot control that person taking the, the the product. For example, the herbs that they're taking in the product, unless they were harvested and grown in the same soil, prepared in the same way, and taken in the exact same dosage, you can't say that you're going to have the same results. Unless that person that's taking the herb is on the same exact diet, living the same exact lifestyle as the person who was in this test study, you can't use the test study to say you're going to get the same, you can't promise the same results because it's two different people taking different dosages, different diets. So you can't tell somebody who's eating pizza and drinking beer, if you take this product, you're not going to have this problem anymore. You know, if you keep doing what's causing the problem, obviously you're not going to get much better even if you take stuff that's helping other people. So that's why they don't want people to say taking this herb will help this condition because a lot of people don't want to change their destructive habits. They just want to take some wonder stuff and hope it makes everything wonderful and makes their problems go away. As I've been saying all along, unless you change what's causing the problem, taking anything isn't going to really do much good. I mean, there's people in hospitals who just had a lung removed, but yet afterwards they're standing in the hallway smoking a cigarette because they can't stop. So I'm not upset with this. It's, it's just a little sad because, for example, I, I'm going to list the ingredients in my products and people are going to say, well, why should I take this? What's this for? What do these ingredients do? And I'll be like, well, I can't tell you that. <laughs> so that's where it gets a little frustrating. But if you go online and all kinds of websites, they show you what these herbs are tested for. And that's why I also created the free food and medicine edible plant guide. So. What I suggest in the next two weeks before I take the stuff down is if, if you really want to know what the herbs do that are in my products, copy my websites. Just copy and paste everything that I say about each herb and save it somewhere. And if you don't do that, at least get the edible plant guide because this is like a reference. This is something that everybody should have no matter what. I mean, you don't even have to buy my stuff. Just make your own. Go get your own. It shows you what how to recognize the plants, what they're good for, anything like that. Plants cannot be patented. And that's another reason the drug companies don't really want you to know about this stuff. You know, like uh, Madagascar periwinkle, for example. The main drugs that are used for leukemia and lymphoma, vingtristine and emblastine, are made from Madagascar periwinkle. But you can't patent Madagascar periwinkle. You can only patent an extract or an isolate or something that is somehow magically, chemically changed from the way nature made it. And that's the only thing you can patent. So even though it helps leukemia and lymphoma, they couldn't patent it so they shelved the whole thing. Like nettle leaf, for example. Nettles are everywhere. They're all over the world. It's a very common plant. It blocks the lactic acid cycle, which in essence starves cancer cells. But I can't say that at least not anymore. That's why I created this book. So you can always have something you can refer to, like what's this plant good for? There's cross references in the back of the book. So you can check the plant and it tells you what the plant's used for, or you can just go right to the health condition. There's a, all the health conditions are listed in the back of the book, which tell you what pages to go to and what plants are good for those health conditions. Now again, this is not a guarantee. You can't just take something and hope it's gonna change your life and make you better if you keep doing the things that are bad for you. And you gotta take it in the right dosage, you gotta take it in the right amounts, you gotta prepare it in the right way. That's why I've done most of the work for you in harvesting and preparing it at low temperatures and curing it and making sure that it keeps as much power as possible. You can't just go take a plant and, and boil it or something and hope it's gonna work the same. You know, high temperatures kill a lot of the factors of the plant. So anyway, in the next, within the next month, within the next uh, three, four weeks, all the stuff that's on my website, each product I have lists the ingredients and each ingredient, it says what it traditionally, this ingredient is, is good for, what health conditions it helps with. And, and also remember the combination of plants. 
When you combine plants, they work differently than if you take them by themselves. It changes the whole chemical structure. So you kind of got to know what you're doing when you're mixing different plants. So I've done years of research on that. So there's a lot of things that somebody needs to know when they get into this kind of stuff. I've done all that for you. I've made the formulas based on certain, like I'm not allowed to say the word parasite because that's a health condition. I, I, can't, I cannot say uh, a disease or a negative health condition, something that's bad for you. I'm allowed to say uh, supports healthy liver function, supports healthy kidney function, things that are working well, but I cannot say it's good for diabetes, it's good for heart disease, it's good for leukemia, cancer, anything like that. Those are health conditions, those are diseases, and you cannot connect a disease with an herb. That you're not allowed to do that. You know, and I can understand why they do that because you can't give somebody false hope that, you know, somebody who's continuing to smoke and drink alcohol and drink beer and eat pizza and, and do things that are bad for them and then just take a pill or something and think it's going to cure them. It won't. You have to have a controlled environment where everything that you eat and drink and your the amount that you sleep and exercise, well, most people don't exercise. You know, you have to do all the things that I list in Heal Yourself 101 in order to start getting better. It's not just a matter of taking something but when you do take something it's good to know at least it's reassuring to know like how it helps what's in it what the ingredients are and what each ingredient does and why and that's why I did what I've been doing um, so it's good to be educated about things like this you don't even have to believe me go online Google Google the different ingredients there's all kinds of medical studies there's all kinds of health studies published studies and I've cross-referenced all of them for years I mean thousands and thousands of them because I wanted to make sure what I had worked you know a lot of times studies are backed by certain special interest groups or companies that have certain agendas uh, so it's better to just not trust one study, but have three or four or five of them from different sources that have, you know, different uh, backgrounds and different reasons for making the study. And of course, there's the, the tribal cultures from all over the world who for, you know, the, the South America, Africa, Australia that have been doing this for thousands of years before recorded history. Something was wrong, they knew right what plant to go to. People have lost touch with that. A lot of the common plants growing in your yard, you know, your front yard, your backyard, dandelions, nettles, thistles, burdock, it's powerful stuff, it's good for you. It doesn't taste great, but it's really good for you and it has a purpose and you could, like, you should incorporate it into your daily intake. So that's what I try to educate you for. At least you guys can know what to do, like what plants to use for what things and um, you know I'm trying to teach you guys I'm trying to help you guys and I'm also trying to make in the meantime I'm trying to make it easier by harvesting the stuff for you preparing it properly mixing it properly and making it available you try to make it as you know as easy ready to go as possible for you guys so anyway uh, that's just it so in the next few weeks uh, if you want so download or copy paste uh, all the um, my my er, ingredient descriptions on my products as to why they're there, what conditions they're for, or just get the, the, the free food and medicine edible plant guide. There's also a phone app. It's a cheap little phone app that kind of mirrors what this does. It's a great phone app. You can get the book and the phone app at edibleplantguide.com. Of course, the, the herbal products are at marcusproducts.com, Marcus with a K, or healanything.com. Can you believe I got healanything.com? It's pretty amazing. Anyway, so I'm here to help, I'm here to educate, I'm here to empower, I'm here to show you guys how you can do it on your own. You don't have to get my stuff or, you know, any, you don't even have to listen to me. Just go online and do it, you figure it out yourself. Spend 10 years learning the same stuff. <laughs> the truth is the truth, it's out there. Get it however you can. I'm trying to speed the process for you. It all comes around to the same place and uh, people need to learn what is good for them and what helps their conditions and that's what I'm trying to help. So, good luck and uh, let us all be healthy while we're here on this planet. So, see you in the next video.